insert cheesy history quote here. That's right, we're looking at some old stuff. When first hearing the word history, your mind might wander off to those traumatizing history lessons you had in high school. But that's not the history we're gonna take a look at. Or is it? We're following the Assassin's Creed timeline and take a look at different eras from the ancient Greece to the Second World War, each with iconic locations, characters, and stories. The Assassin's Creed franchise will allow us to map those iconic features through its incredible historical accuracy. Right. As of yet, there are 21 Assassin's Creed games, taking place in 10 different eras. As we're taking a look at them in chronicle order, let's start with the Peloponnesian War. Travel with me to the ancient Greece between 431 and 404 before Christ. Assassin's Creed Odyssey takes place when two states, Athene and Sparta, are fighting to keep their position in power which led to an all-out war across the many islands of Greece, like Mykonos, Lesbos, and Crete. It's enriched with historical figures like Socrates and Leonidas, and myths like the Minotaur. Moving ahead in time to the Ptolemaic Egypt, we are now 49 to 43 before Christ. Assassin's Creed Origin widens the lens of the struggle of Ptolemy the 13th, the current pharaoh, to maintain his rule while harboring ambitions of expanding his kingdom, fight a coup by his sister Cleopatra, and being wary of an imminent Roman invasion under the rule of Julius Caesar. Across the vast wilderness of Egypt and across cities like Alexandria and Memphis and Thebes, there are myths and stories to be uncovered like the reincarnation of gods as pharaohs. Over a millennium later, we arrive in the Third Crusade, around 1190, when Assassin's Creed 1, Altair's Chronicles and Bloodlines take place. Zooming in on the Holy Land, medieval Jerusalem at the heart of Israel, where the Templar Knights under the leadership of Richard Leinhardt, are at war with the assassins over an ancient artifact, said to control mines, better known as the Apple of Eden. Moving a couple of centuries forward to the time from 1476 through 1512, this is where the Italian Renaissance comes to life. In Assassin's Creed 2, Discovery, Brotherhood, Identity, and Revelation. The Italian Renaissance is marked in the books as a time of great culture change and achievement in Italy. That was filled with great artists like Leonardo da Vinci and Giorgio. Across the city of Firenze, Venice, Rome, and Constantinople, we'll explore the creation of da Vinci's war machines and the founders of Rome, Romulus and Remus. Not long after, between 1526 and 1532, we're heading east to the Assassin's Creed game that shines some light on part of history left out by the main games. The Imperial China era comes to life with the PS Vita side-scroller game. Assassin's Creed chronicles China, where the protagonist tries to restore the Brotherhood in China and overthrow the ruling emperor and leader of the Eight Tigers. Bear with me here because this name is not in my vocabulary. Shijang Emperor. The game isn't as expensive as a usual Assassin's Creed game, but this era could hold a good amount of stories. The colonial period starts in 1715 and stretches out to 1777, as we're following three different generations in Assassin's Creed's Black Flag, Freedom Cry, Pirates, Rogue, Assassin's Creed 3 and Liberation. During this period, there are many places to visit, like the Caribbean, Northern Atlantic, and major cities amongst the eastern coastline of North America, like New York, Boston, 
Washington and New Orleans. This era zooms in on colonization, piracy, slavery and the struggle on the frontier, or as we know it, the American Civil War. Along the way there are many stories and myths to uncover, like Moby Dick, Bigfoot and the Headless Horseman. The end of the colonial period means the start of the French Revolution. Between 1776 and 1800, this period saw the decline of monarchy and it being replaced with a republic, as the rich sparkled with the rage of the lower class citizens. Assassin's Creed Unity brings us to places like Versailles and Paris, and shows us the historical figures like the vertically challenged Napoleon Bonaparte, and the headless king Louis XVI. Almost half a century later, we're traveling east once again. The Sikh Empire brings us to India in 1841, where India is trying to get rid of the British oppressor and the assassins want to get their hands on the Koinor diamond, as it is a piece of Eden. This time and place makes us eager to uncover the mythology or history it has to offer. Approaching the modern era, we have another big stop along the way. Assassin's Creed Syndicate takes place in the Victorian era. In the year 1868, during the Industrial Revolution, the Fry family, large property owners, need to make way for small timers. Great minds from that time won't be skipped over, as we'll meet the father of the evolution theory, Charles Darwin, and famous writer Charles Dickens. 19th century London also gives us a look into interesting stories like the one of Jack the Ripper. And arriving at the last but not least era, we enter the October Revolution. In 1918 we'll be traveling to Moscow, Russia to see the struggle it underwent to become the first self-proclaimed socialist state. It's presented by the final Assassin's Creed Chronicle game, Russia. We'll learn about Bolshevik and Nikolaj the second in the side-scroller game, as will fight the Templars in Mother Russia. You might ask, what can you learn from these history lessons? As mentioned, we're taking a look at stories of each era that are happening in the games. You can think of stories on the Peloponnesian War, a character story on Socrates or mythology, like the Minotaurs. And that for essentially every era. The Assassin's Creed games provide us a path to follow and serve as a backdrop. We aren't looking to break down the games, but what actually happened in these parts of history. We have many places to visit and many stories to tell within so little time. We'll be kicking the series off by traveling to the beautiful Greece with the Assassin's Creed Odyssey in the era of the Peloponnesian War because this is both the most recent game and the first era in the chronological order. Before ending the video, I'd like to know what your favorite Assassin's Creed era is, and why? Thank you for being part of the introduction into the Assassin's Creed history. If you're interested in supporting this series, leaving a rating, comment and sharing would help us a lot. Show us that you're interested which incentivizes us to continue. Have a nice day, and with that, I'm ending this video. What's up? Out.